Hey everybody, Linus here and welcome back to the channel. For today's video, we're diving deep into the world of ethical hacking with a look at the top 10 exploiting tools you absolutely must know in Kali Linux. Make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future cybersecurity content. Now, before we jump in, it's important to remember that these tools are incredibly powerful and can be used for both good and bad. Our goal here is to empower cybersecurity professionals and enthusiasts like you with the knowledge you need to protect your systems and data. Always, and I mean always, use these tools responsibly, ethically, and legally. Over the next few chapters, we'll be exploring some of the heavy hitters in the ethical hacking world. We're talking Metasploit, Nmap, and a whole bunch more. We'll take a look at what each tool does, how it works, and why it's essential for any aspiring ethical hacker. So buckle up, grab your favorite energy drink, and let's get hacking. All right, let's kick things off with the big dog, the tool that needs no introduction, Metasploit Framework. If you're serious about ethical hacking, Metasploit is your playground. It's like that Swiss army knife that's always coming in handy, packed with more exploits, payloads, and auxiliary modules than you can shake a stick at. What makes Metasploit so darn powerful is its versatility. We're talking vulnerability scanning to pinpoint those weak spots, exploitation to gain access, and even custom payload creation to really get into the nitty gritty. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just dipping your toes into the ethical hacking waters, Metasploit has something for you. Now, navigating the command line interface can be a bit daunting for some, and that's where Armitage swoops in to save the day. Armitage is like Metasploit's cooler, more visual cousin. It gives you this awesome graphical view of your targets and makes using Metasploit a whole lot easier. Think of it like this. Metasploit is the engine of your ethical hacking machine and Armitage is the sleek dashboard that helps you steer it. Together, they're an unstoppable force in the world of cybersecurity. But hey, don't just take my word for it. Go check out Metasploit and Armitage for yourselves. You'll be amazed at what you can accomplish with these powerful tools. And who knows, maybe you'll even discover your new favorite hacking tool. Up next, we're diving into the world of web browser security with Beef the Browser Exploitation Framework. Trust me, you don't want to miss this one. Stick around. Welcome back, everyone. Now, let's talk about web browsers. You know, those windows to the internet we use every single day. They're convenient, sure, but they can also be a playground for hackers if you're not careful. And that's where Beef, the browser exploitation framework, comes into play. Beef is all about putting your web browser's security to the test. It's like having a team of ethical hackers poking and prodding your browser, looking for those sneaky vulnerabilities that could be exploited by the bad guys. The really cool part about Beef is its ability to hook browsers. Now, before you start picturing hackers physically tampering with your computer, let me explain. Hooking, in this case, means gaining remote control of a browser for educational purposes. Think of it like a simulation. Beef lets you see firsthand how a browser can be compromised and controlled remotely. This is invaluable for anyone involved in web app security because it allows you to understand and mitigate potential browser-based attacks. But it's not just for the pros. Beef is also a fantastic tool for raising awareness about the importance of browser security. By understanding how Beef works and the types of attacks it can simulate, you can learn to protect yourself from real-world threats. It's all about staying one step ahead of the bad guys, right? So whether you're a developer building the next big web app or just someone who wants to browse the internet safely, Beef is definitely worth checking out. Stay tuned, because up next, we're tackling the world of SQL injection with SQL Map. All right, folks, let's talk about databases, the heart and soul of many websites and applications. Now imagine if someone could sneak into those databases and mess with your precious data. Not a pretty picture, right? Well, that's where SQL injection comes in, and that's where SQL Map swoops in to save the day. SQL Map is the ultimate SQL injection automation tool. It's like having a crack team of SQL ninjas working tirelessly to find and exploit those sneaky vulnerabilities that could give attackers access to your database. But here's the beauty of SQL Map. It's not just about finding vulnerabilities. It's about understanding their severity and what an attacker could potentially do with them. SQL Map lets you retrieve, modify, or even delete data, all depending on the severity of the vulnerability. And the best part? SQL Map is incredibly user-friendly. Even if you're not a command line wizard, 
its simple interface makes it accessible for users of all skill levels. So, whether you're a security professional tasked with protecting sensitive data or a web developer wanting to build more secure applications, SQL Map is an indispensable tool in your arsenal. Now hold on tight because in the next chapter, we're venturing into the vast and sometimes overwhelming world of exploit databases. Get ready to meet Exploit Database and Searchploit. Welcome back, everyone. Let's talk about knowledge because in the world of cybersecurity, knowledge is power. And when it comes to exploits, there's no better place to find that knowledge than the exploit database. Think of the exploit database as this massive, ever-growing library filled with public exploits and security resources. It's like the Library of Alexandria for ethical hackers, packed with information on vulnerabilities, exploits, and security advisories. But here's the thing. Navigating this vast repository of information can be a bit overwhelming, especially if you're not sure what you're looking for. And that's where Searchsploit comes in, your trusty sidekick for quickly finding the exact exploit you need. Searchsploit is a command line tool that lets you search the exploit database with laser focus. Need an exploit for a specific CVE? No problem. Looking for vulnerabilities in a particular platform or application? Searchsploit has got you covered. It's like having a librarian who knows the exact location of every book in the library. Just tell Searchsploit what you're looking for and it'll pull up the relevant exploits in a snap. So, whether you're researching a specific vulnerability or just want to stay up to date on the latest exploits, the Exploit Database and Searchsploit are essential tools for any security professional or enthusiast. Up next, we're diving into the world of credential sniffing with Responder. Get ready to uncover those hidden passwords. Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're talking about passwords, the keys to our digital kingdoms. And let's be honest, we've all been guilty of using weak or easily guessable passwords at some point, but what if I told you there's a tool that can sniff out those passwords, exposing them to potential attackers? Enter Responder, a tool that specializes in credential sniffing, specifically in Windows environments. It's like that friend who always overhears your conversations, except in this case, it's eavesdropping on network traffic waiting for those juicy login credentials. Responder works by exploiting two protocols, LLMNR and NBTNS. These protocols are like the messengers of the Windows network, responsible for name resolution and service discovery. But here's the catch. They can be tricked. When Responder is active, it listens for requests on the network related to these protocols. If a user's computer tries to connect to a resource that doesn't exist, Responder swoops in, impersonating that resource and tricking the user's computer into handing over its login credentials. Sneaky, right? But remember, knowledge is power. By understanding how Responder works, we can better protect ourselves from these types of attacks. Always use Responder responsibly and ethically, and only on systems you're authorized to test. Now hold on tight, because in the next chapter, we're cracking the code on password cracking with John the Ripper. Welcome back, password aficionados. Today we're talking about the art of password cracking, and trust me, it's more than just randomly typing characters and hoping for the best. It's a science, and John the Ripper is the professor you need to ace this course. John the Ripper is a password cracking tool that's been around for ages, and for good reason. It's powerful, versatile, and incredibly effective. It's like that lockpick set that can handle any lock, no matter how complex. John the Ripper employs a variety of techniques to crack passwords, including dictionary attacks, brute force attacks, and rainbow table attacks. Each technique has its strengths and weaknesses, and John the Ripper lets you choose the best approach for the job. But John's not just about brute force, it's also highly customizable, allowing you to fine-tune its settings for optimal performance. You can specify character sets, attack modes, and even use custom word lists to increase your chances of cracking those pesky passwords. Now, before you go all vigilante hacker on us, remember that using John the Ripper to crack passwords without proper authorization is illegal and unethical. This tool is meant for ethical hacking, security assessments, and password strength testing. So whether you're a system administrator responsible for network security or a security enthusiast wanting to learn the ins and outs of password cracking, John the Ripper is an essential tool in your arsenal. Up next, we're diving into the world of social engineering with the Social Engineering Toolkit. Get ready to manipulate some minds. All right, folks, let's face it. Sometimes the weakest link in the security chain isn't a piece of software or a firewall. It's us, humans. 
were gullible, trusting, and easily manipulated. And that's where social engineering comes in. The Social Engineering Toolkit, or SET for short, is a Python-driven suite designed to craft and execute social engineering attacks. It's like having a toolbox filled with tricks, traps, and persuasive techniques to exploit human vulnerabilities. SET is incredibly versatile, allowing you to create everything from phishing campaigns to fake websites and even deliver malicious payloads. Imagine receiving an email that looks like it's from your bank, asking you to update your account information. You click the link, unaware that it leads to a fake website designed to steal your credentials. That's the power of SET. But SET isn't just about stealing passwords. It's about understanding the human element in cybersecurity. It highlights how easily we can be tricked and manipulated, and it teaches us to be more vigilant and aware of potential threats. Now, as always, use SET responsibly and ethically. It's a powerful tool that can be used for both good and bad, and it's crucial to use it only for educational purposes and authorized security assessments. So, whether you're a security professional wanting to test your organization's susceptibility to social engineering attacks, or just someone who wants to learn more about this fascinating field, the Social Engineering Toolkit is definitely worth exploring. Up next, we're scanning the web for vulnerabilities with Nikto. Welcome back, web warriors. Today we're talking about web servers, those tireless workhorses that power our favorite websites and applications. But just like any piece of software, web servers can have vulnerabilities. And that's where Nikto comes in, your trusty web server vulnerability scanner. Think of Nikto as a watchdog, constantly patrolling your web server, sniffing out outdated software, misconfigurations, and potential security holes. It's like having a team of security auditors working around the clock to keep your web server safe and sound. Nikto is incredibly thorough, scanning for a wide range of vulnerabilities, including dangerous files, outdated server software, and common misconfigurations. It has a massive database of known vulnerabilities and can identify potential issues that could leave your web server open to attack. But Nikto isn't just about finding vulnerabilities. It's about providing actionable insights. When it finds a potential issue, it provides detailed information about the vulnerability, its severity, and even suggests remediation steps to fix it. So whether you're a system administrator responsible for a fleet of web servers or a web developer wanting to ensure your website is secure, Nikto is an indispensable tool in your arsenal. Up next, we're mapping the network and taking exploitation to the next level with Nmap and the Nmap scripting engine. Welcome back, Network Ninjas. Today we're talking about network mapping and exploitation, and trust me, it's more exciting than it sounds. And when it comes to these tasks, Nmap and the Nmap Scripting Engine, or NSE for short, are the dynamic duo you need on your team. Nmap, short for Network Mapper, is the go-to tool for discovering hosts and services on a computer network. It's like having a radar system that can see every device connected to your network, providing valuable information about their operating systems, open ports, and running services. But Nmap is just the tip of the iceberg. With the Nmap Scripting Engine, or NSE, you can extend Nmap's functionality to a whole new level. NSE allows you to write and execute scripts that automate a wide range of tasks, from vulnerability scanning and exploitation to backdoor detection and network analysis. Imagine being able to scan your entire network for a specific vulnerability, exploit that vulnerability to gain access to a system, and then patch it to prevent future attacks, all with a few simple scripts. That's the power of Nmap and NSE. So, whether you're a security professional conducting penetration testing or a network administrator securing your organization's infrastructure, Nmap and NSE are essential tools in your arsenal. Get ready for the grand finale, folks, because up next we're wrapping things up with a recap of these incredible ethical hacking tools. And there you have it, folks, a glimpse into the world of ethical hacking with the top 10 exploiting tools in Kali Linux. From Metasploit to Nmap and everything in between, these tools are essential for anyone serious about cybersecurity, whether you're a seasoned professional or just starting your journey. Remember, knowledge is power, and these tools are designed to educate and empower ethical hackers like you. The key takeaway here is to use these tools responsibly, ethically, and legally. The goal is to learn, to understand, and to protect, not to harm or exploit. Always respect the law and the privacy of others. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of ethical hacking, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more cybersecurity content. 
And hey, if you have any questions or want to share your thoughts, drop a comment down below. Until next time, stay safe and happy hacking.